think it's gonna rain. Uh, good morning everybody it is Monday now um, I planted this field Saturday evening wanted to come out we're getting ready to get a rainstorm wanted to come out and actually check the progress of the bean and here's what everything looks like um, as you can tell there it's probably doubled or tripled in size already so it's not gonna take long at all for these beans to pop up I would say within another two or three days um, I mean this is getting ready to shoot off the, the sprout root I can't I don't know what you call it but the root that actually goes down to send up the cotyledon um, so it's not gonna take very long at all for for this for these beans to start popping so I'm pretty happy so far with the uh, the Inferro liquid fertilizer I think that's gonna be a big help um, you can plant into dry soil and that's going to give you the needed boost to get those get those out of the up and out of the ground. So, you know, essentially instead of planting at an inch and a half, you can plant up to you know maybe an inch or three quarters of an inch. As long as there's moisture there, they should come up and send tap roots down or roots down to uh, to uh, get going. Now, as you can tell, uh, there, there is rain and thunderstorms in the area we're just getting ready to get hit but i do want to show you one thing i'm going to show a little bit better example you can see some green right there where my finger's at just right here in this in this dirt i'm gonna have to flame that because my cultivator uh we missed that with the cultivator so um, i'll have to do that probably either later today or tomorrow it's too windy it is too windy to take you guys out there, uh, but you can tell right there, we missed a couple patches with that field cultivator. So I'm gonna have to get out there with a the flame torch, flame weeder, and uh, flame all that grass and all those weeds down. And there's a few, few other small little patches out there here and there that uh, need to get hit too, um, that, that, were, that were missed. Uh, that's probably the biggest. That's maybe 20 feet long by 10 feet wide, maybe. So there's a few other little patches, a few other little lone weeds, like right here. I'll have to zoom in. Like that wild mustard right there. It survived. So I'm going to go out there with a the flame weeder in the next day or two, once everything kind of greens up a little bit better, and just burn them down. Yeah, it's starting to hail a little bit. All right, it's really starting to hail now. I'm gonna go see if I can park this under cover somewhere. If you're really quiet, you can hear it raining. Just a slight drizzle right now. Hey, it's a free car wash, right? Gator wash and bobcat wash. I don't even have to take it to the car wash now. We're good to go. Well, everything's gonna get soaked in now, so I guess that's good. But it didn't rain long enough and hard enough to really do any damage on anything, which is really good. All right, uh, good morning. It's Thursday morning now. Uh, this field was planted on Saturday. We got a little over an inch of rain. And on uh, Monday, Tuesday, I think it was, um, starting to dry out. I mean, still, it's still, oh, if I don't drop the phone. It is still muddy, tacky, but it's not sinking up to my ankles. So we're gonna check, we're gonna do a dig here and we're gonna check how these beans are coming along. Uh, highs haven't been the warmest, they've been in the 60s. So um, 
at night. It's dropping down in the upper 40s. It's going to hinder emergence a little bit, but um, yeah, we've got. I think we're going to be okay though. All right. There's a bean right there. Actually, two beans. So, yeah, they're swelled up pretty good. I think once it turns warm, we'll have, we'll have a little bit more of, more of that uh, swelling and them sending the shoots down. So, the other thing I'm looking for is seedling sproutings now we see a little bit here and here and here of stuff that's green but i think that's just from the uh, field cultivator missing because they're all they're all in straight lines so um i'm not seeing everything consistent where there's you know grass and weeds and everything sprouting all over the place they're only in straight runs so that tells me that our field cultivator was not doing a good job so only way to adjust that or fix that is to adjust that field cultivator but yeah, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any new seedling uh, emergence for weed seed. Just weeds that were growing that the cultivator missed, and they missed, they missed a lot. So, um, ones that are growing, by the time it dries, it may be too, they may be too big for the uh, tine weeder to hit. That's where a little hand weeder, flame weeder comes in or the row cultivator, depending on how much, how many weeds there are. So we will, uh, we'll have to kind of give us some time, wait and see. Now this is the earliest I've ever planted soybeans. Uh, normally we're about, you know, the first of June before we try to plant. Um, so this was a month earlier on this one field as a kind of a test plot. Um, I, I hear people planting soybeans as early as, well, there's a couple people in March um, in Ohio. So here in Missouri, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to attempt it, but I guess there's probably people that do. Um, you know, the end of May to the beginning of June is kind of, kind of our timeline around here. It's what it has been the last couple of years. So this is definitely an early planted field for us. Uh, hoping to get a good jump on the year, get some good emergence, but I'm sure we will, we will have some challenges with this. So I don't know. We'll stay on the ball. We'll see what happens. All right, uh, so I'm here on the T4, changing the oil, air filters, and fuel filters, uh, and oil filter. I did not, because I'm a dummy, pick up the hydraulic filter or the transmission filter, so I gotta order those yet to get that changed, but uh, the air filter on this was just absolutely filthy, so I went ahead and ordered a new one, got that this morning. Um, these filters suck on this T4 series. There's a, there's one right here. There's another fuel filter right here. And then right back in here where everything is at, all these lines and everything. Yeah, that's the oil filter. So I didn't think about this when we originally got it, but yeah, they're a nightmare to put in. Look at this oil filter. This thing is upside down 
where normally that's just goofy. All right, hey guys, it's Saturday now. I've got Dylan and Jacob here with me. And uh, we've got the flame torch out. We're gonna flame this patch. We've already done one up there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna flame all this, flame kill all this uh, grass and all these weeds that were missed by the field cultivator. That's what I call burn down. All right, hey everybody, it is May 11th or 12th, it's Monday, right around there. Look at what we got hooked up. We got the uh, tine weeder all hooked up. We're gonna go attempt to see how this thing works. We will kind of do a uh, before and after type thing with this. Um, I'll probably make its own video and then I'll tie some clips in some, some of the other videos that are running. But I want to do a time lapse of how it's real easy to hook up, but just a, on a regular three point. Uh, it's pretty light where you can flex and move it around if you're not quite lined up right. Uh, but I'm in the T4100 getting ready to run. It is gonna rain for like the next week so I'd like to get this 50 acres all knocked out and uh, that way we can kind of have a jump start on the weed pressure so stay tuned So I know it's not a very good video. That's the best I can manage right now. Um, you can tell that it's kicking up some dust, which is what you want to see. Now there's going to be some times, I can already tell, where this application is not going to be the best suited. Now if you have a lot of residue, um, if the ground is really cloddy, uh, I can definitely tell where this is not going to be the best application. Maybe it might be better for a rotary hoe or something like that. But with that being said, this, this application is not meant to get every single weed that's out there. What this is going to do is this is going to get a lot of what I face, a lot of the fine silk foxtail uh, that comes later in the season. I'm hoping that helps. Um, really the velvet leaf, the ragweed, the things that when by the time my first cultivation pass goes through um, it's it's not in my his, history they've not uh, I've had a hard time getting them I'm trying to say uh, now there's gonna be a few weeds still lingering out there that were already germinating that the field cultivator missed but this is doing a couple different things really good it's filling in the furrow where the grass is already starting to come in, it's filling, it's kind of leveling it all out, and it's pulling out a lot of those smaller broadleaf, smaller grasses. So, um, you know, I may have to make my row cleaners a little less aggressive. Uh, I may have to raise those, which I've already done once. I may have to make them even less aggressive than even where they're at now, but I'm really happy with this thing so far. I can see where it's definitely pulling out weeds and that's going to give these soybeans a good leg up this year. I, I can't tell you how, how excited I am. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping this really works well. So these little weeds right here, these are what we're taking out. And there's a group there, there's some here in the furrow. I mean, they're a little bit everywhere. So this is where I haven't ran. Let's come over here where I have ran. Now there's still 
a few little patches like right in here where there's still a few but we're gonna be we're getting a lot of them we are getting a lot of them so the beans aren't up yet and what we don't get i'm hoping to either get with a second pass or this is here still at the headlands um, where i'm not going very fast if we go out here where i'm heading going, getting a little quicker that might be a little different so here you can tell there's nothing there's one right here but it's been it's been all but pulled out so we're not going to get them all but that's not the goal i mean yeah it is the goal but our goal our overall goal is to get as many of these weeds as possible we're never going to be 100 percent organic it's just we're not but if we can control 85 90 95 percent of the weeds that's going to be a big win right, i'm getting ready to finish up for the day on this 50 acres uh, it took me about three and a half hours it's really not too bad uh, considering um, it's only a 20 foot 20 foot uh, time time leader but uh, seeing I'm definitely seeing where this could be a big improvement uh, we're only going down about a quarter of an inch and it's just disturbing that top layer of soil uh, and it's it's really pulling out a lot of the small uh, small weeds in the silk stage i think is what they call it uh, it's not it's not uh, touching the bigger ones the ones that are an inch and a half or two inches tall or the weeds that are seeded deeper. This is meant for more of the stuff that is on top of the surface and it's working very well. All right, hey everybody, it is May 12th. Uh, so I'm out here disking this 100 acre field. I've got I don't know, 20 acres of it done. Um, I'm not going to be able to get it all done. Uh, what I am trying to do is I'm trying to get these lower lying areas that uh, are finally dried up. I say that as I'm going through a mud bog. But um, finally dried up enough to disc. And uh, it's actually, it's going pretty doggone good. Uh, I've got, it's all this green that's out here is like a short volunteer wheat crop. Um, you know, it's nothing, nothing that, uh, you know, you can pick or anything, but it's only about seven, eight inches tall. But I tell you what, it did good. It's a, it, it acted like a cover crop, believe it or not. So I'm in here disking this all under and uh, just enjoying the day. I've got some rain coming. Uh, and believe it or not, if, if I had a bigger planter and another tractor that could pull it, I'd be running, if I had a 12 row or something like that, I could be planting this field. It's, I mean, it's powdering it up pretty doggone good. Now, I'd, I'd probably be fighting some weeds, but um, yeah, it's actually going pretty good. All right, it's about 10.30. I got close to 100 acres disc actually um, I do have maybe four or five acres left on this 100 acre field that I couldn't do because it's still too muddy so I'm gonna have to wait until things dry up a little bit before I, I finish hitting that but um, you know overall it's a feels like it got quite a bit done today um, so it is going to be raining over the next couple days. Don't know how much, uh, but I do have some other stuff I got to get done. I'm putting some more lights on the tractors because uh, uh, it's more likely that I'll be working either early morning or late at night or both. So uh, 
yeah, it's it's things are going good though. Um, I wish I had a bigger planner. All right, guys. I uh, hope you're all doing good, and uh, I'll see you here in the next clip. All right, it's kind of hard to focus. This is the driveway going into the oil lease. I'm gonna say we're flooding a little bit. It's been raining non-stop. So uh, we've got a lot of rain. I bet we've got close to, I bet we've got close to five or six inches now. Uh, we're flooding, some of our ponds are flooding out. Um, but we're gonna hopefully dry out this week. It's supposed to be in the 90s. So hopefully we'll get dried out enough to where we can get a little bit of tillage done. I doubt we're gonna be able to get that much uh, before now and next weekend. So today is Thursday, I believe the 28th. Um, so over the next seven days, it might dry out. It's supposed to get in the 90s, upper 80s, low 90s. Um, so it's gonna take that long. It's gonna take a full week to get everything dried out though. Um, so yeah. We're just like everybody else, playing in the monsoon. <laughs>